this water has been running for over 15 minutes and it's not getting hot. Miss Nelson has turned off my hot water heater. Now, already I'm living like this. Look at this place. Uh, I have to drink my water, my drinking water, my washing up water, my cooking water comes from the bathroom because the water in the kitchen is very contaminated with whatever poisons they done put in it and you saw the video of my feet turn black from walking on the carpet and the powdery residue, thick powdery residue in my dishes and in my pots and pans. So the less contaminated water is in the bathroom. Now Miss Nelson sent me a uh, text messaging Ask me, am I going to move out this weekend? I only received my moving papers. Uh, I sent her, I said no. And she said, well, when are you going to get an apartment? When are you going to be moving? Now, I only, I text her. I'm not going to be moving by the weekend. I, oh, I just got my moving papers eight days ago. There's no way she could expect me to find an apartment get everything together, and move out in eight days. Really? But as I said, now she has turned my hot water off. But my real issue is not with Ms. Nelson, who lies, who steals, who's uh, done every crime possible. My problem is not with her. My problem is with Chicago Housing Authority, who sent me a letter today saying that uh, she failed, but they're going to give her 21 days to uh, get her apartment together. Now, they expect me to move down in 21 days. And it's saying that this is not an emergency situation. Even though the mice has gotten worse that they bring in, the water carpet is still wet, the, the nets are still flying around all of my food, I'm still trying to spray them, uh, this would draw mice in. I didn't have mice before this carpet and stuff got uh, messed up like this. The carpet has been dirty from tracking this water all over the carpet through the living room. And you know, this has been over a month since that's been like that. So, so it's been tracked all over the house because the kitchen had the same problem. Well, water was running. Now, it's been over a month since uh, Johnson supposed to have fixed the pipes, and he was supposed to have been back in a week to clean that mess for Mondaydale. So, I'm still living with this toxic mold under the sink that they refused to take out of here, smelly, toxic mold, rotted wood that they were supposed to have been taken out three weeks ago after he fixed the pipes. And they're still there with the broken pipes that don't need to be used. So this is not an emergency. I still, I've been, they still coming to my house, taking my things, have not to change the locks on my door. Now, when I called the police department the other day, officer or uh, dispatcher Riley asked me to ask, my landlord, why they change the locks on all of their doors? And I've seen that video. Why they change the locks on all their doors? Put a new lock. I'm going to turn this light on. It's not working, but put a new lock even, not on the front door, just on the front door. But a new lock on the basement. A new lock on the basement. But my locks are still not changed. But I'm the one supposed to be having a problem getting broken in. I put a new lock on the front door. And even though when I asked her about it, she lied and said they did not change the locks. All the stuff in the hallway. They have new locks on their doors and 
a lock, a new lock on an empty closet. It used to just, it's empty. It was empty. A new lock on an empty closet. So, Miss Hodges now, the inspector, the can, said this is not an emergency situation. Even though I continue to be broken in, even though my feet is black, even though he's saying that I lost over 50 pounds, I lost all his weight. He said it's not their problem that this laundry room stay dirty like that because they still haven't cleaned it. Now, this was like this when the inspector came, and he said uh, they have nothing to do with the cleanliness of the uh, areas that the landlord runs. He said they have nothing to do with the cleanliness. He said the towels on the floor, it's all torn up. That's, has, he, that has nothing to do with the cosmetics. They can't say anything about how the apartment uh, is uh, looked because that's the cosmetics and the landlord can do what they want. They have nothing to do with the plugs or uh, not charging my phones, blowing out my TV because they have nothing to do with electricity. They have nothing to do with the water being contaminated. Uh, what does he say? And they have nothing to do with the cleaning, the maintenance, electricity, water being contaminated, everything. Nothing they have anything to do with that they can let you run. They, they can let the landlord do anything. So, even though, and me being broken into with the police report. So, on the letter, it says, this is not an emergency. I, I think I told her. This is not an emergency that I need to get out of here. Oh, uh, because if it was an emergency, she would have to either repair these things within 24 hours or they would stop her money. And of course, they don't want to stop her money. So, this is not an emergency. And then the incidents about the wet uh, carpet in the bedroom, the towel in the kitchen, and in the uh, bathroom, the toxic. Stuff all over the kitchen, under the kitchen cabinet. That is not a mercy. I'm supposed to live with this. So he wrote down, when they said, well, are, there, are there any incidents that might not cause you to fail, but need mention? And he put none. None. No incidents at all. So this doesn't qualify as a mercy. Since he said it was not a mercy. And this does not qualify as emergency and the incidents there were none no police reports no um or my feet turning black no one mentioned of me losing all his weight so you know this is a conspiracy of murder now since I got the text from Miss Nelson today asked me was I going to move by the weekend? All of a sudden, my hot water is off. Now I don't have any hot water. So I guess that's not an emergency either. So they're going to continue to pay her. because, And she doesn't have to fix a thing. She doesn't have to fix a thing. Isn't that something? That they can continue to let me live in these conditions. And um, Ms. Edwards, who is supposed to be the community resource person, who's supposed to help me find an apartment to get a security deposit and uh, move into an area that's nice, she never sent me the paperwork. So the people who are supposed to help me get out of here and find an apartment at Chicago Housing is not doing their job either. So she told me she was going to send me the paperwork to fill out so we can get the process rolling on the 20th. Today is the 29th. No paperwork. So this is supposed to be a community program to help people who really need housing. No paperwork. Because this also is supposed to be uh, 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 for people who need money assistance to help move and uh, security deposit. 
a secure deposit, no paperwork. So I called her today, and she said she sent it out. And then she went to check her files, because she put it as a senator, and then she hung up on me. So I called back, and she didn't answer the phone. No, she didn't answer the phone. So I called back hours later, and she answered, and she told me she was going to get back to me today. It's going on 9 o'clock at night. Really? So that whole Chicago Housing Authority is corrupt. They're not trying to do anything, just like these other businesses, because they look like they're on autopilot, autopilot, that they're going to keep going in the same direction, no matter how much evidence I get. But what are they going to do? What are they going to do? Do they think them people that's going underground are going to protect them? Do they think they have so much uh, power? Because, as we know, our government have already applied, supplied some of these uh, business with uh, weapons, post office, uh, Walmart, uh, Social Security office. They've already supplied them with weapons, and they're going to need every one of them. But did they make sure they gave them enough bullets? Because while they up here fighting for their lives, because people are going to have them, they're going to ask. What are they going to say? Have they already uh, found them some place off planet to live? Because how are they going to move around the country when nobody knows who they are? So, since they're setting up for the very end, and they think that the government got their back, and these people got their back while they underground, under mountain, like the Lord would say, um, while they're sitting up here with them few bullets, them guns that they have, people outnumber all the bullets and the guns they have. Police, military. How many casualties are they going to be on all sides? So they've dug the hill in. They're ready for war. They're going to have it. But the outcome's not going to be like they want to. It's not going to be like they want it on. But I want to make this video. You know, of course, I'm going to send it to them. I'm not scared of them. I want them to know where I'm coming from. But this video is not for them only. It's not for their eyes only. Everybody else going to see this video. Even after the war, all this information is going to be put out there. Because this is a war they can't win. They weren't meant to win this war. They were meant to be puppets as they are, sellouts as they are. So they sold for a few dollars, for a fistful of dollars. Well, good. As God said today in the Bible, the scripture this morning, those are already at the top, they're in the shelters already. And that was in Isaiah. I said they're already in their shelter. He also said that Israel, his people, these black people, there will only be a few of us to be the remnant. And that's a shame that God's chosen people have to be destroyed. Good. Talk to you later.